this fence is a really important step in us being able to get anything done. <laughs> We're building a chain link fence that's gonna fence in a small section close to the house to create a like a yard space for the kids. And the idea is once the chain link fence is in, the gates can get shut, the kids can be trapped in the yard, and then if we're down further doing stuff that's, you know, a little dangerous, we don't want the kids into, Ian's doing a ton of construction. If we don't want the kids, you know, down in Ian's construction zone, they're in the yard, they're contained, and, you know, we don't have to constantly be chasing them. So this is really important to get done as quickly as we can to, you know, free up a little bit of the childcare time that has been really slowing us down. It might mean we'll get, you know, one and a half people's worth of work instead of just one. Well, one of us is 100% on the kids. What you doing there, Ian? I'm digging two foot holes. Cause we get winter. So concrete has to be two feet under. <sighs> and also it's gonna be extra tall. Yeah, it's gonna be super tall. And I've already got three holes down and I only have like 25 more to go. <laughs> so I'm really excited. This fence is probably gonna take me three days to build and it might save me three days of labor when I go to side the outbuilding down there and, you know, install windows and doors because Sam is very, like, he'll be very helpful at one point in time in the future, but he's not super helpful right now and he really wants to get in on the action. Always grabbing tools and stuff, but it's really not that safe down there right now because we got the floor poured in the shop area, so like all of our junk that would go in the shop and all of the previous owner, like they left a lot of stuff in there. A lot of it was good, but the deal was they leave the good stuff, they also leave the bad stuff. So I have so much stuff, like just strewn everywhere. And uh, and it's just not a really safe place for, you know, Sam to be. He's okay in there, but you know, while I'm doing construction, it's just, I can't, I can't focus on the work. And so this fence is gonna keep them locked up here where there's lots of space for them to play and you know do stuff um it'll take a bit of an adjustment getting sam used to the fact that he'll be like locked away from the action but uh it'll speed us up like greatly in the stuff that we have to get down there and i'm hitting the time crunch because you know we're into september now and and uh you know i gotta be working you know by the end of this month kind of like in that range is when work really starts kicking. So, uh, you know, we got to get our butts in gear. Sweat beads? <laughs> That's what I got to do well. I've been really excited about the design of this fence ever since I came up with the idea. As much as this is like a barrier to keep the kids in the yard, it's also gonna be a really functional design for us. We have the string line here to show the, the barrier of where the fence is gonna go. The design of the fence though isn't just a line, it's actually going to be, you know, an average kind of, you know, waist height fence and then the poles are actually going to come way up how how tall are they 
Uh, I think they're Eight ten footers, feet? so it'll be another four feet above the four feet fence. Is what the plan was. Yeah, so they're they're gonna be an eight foot tall fence, and then on the top of the fence, we're actually gonna run another pole, so it'll kind of create like a wind, like a window, and we are actually going to use the fence as a grape trellis. So the idea of the fence is, yes, we're paying this money, we're putting in this chain link fence, but it's gonna be something that we're gonna to want to have for years and years because it's actually gonna be a functional thing. It's gonna be a grape trellis that we don't have to worry about it rotting out and falling down. Like we can have our grapes on there growing for the rest of our lives. Another function of the fence is we have this parking area that I'm sitting in. It's all fenced in and when all the gates are shut, the kids can't actually get into this area because it's it's slightly dangerous. The road that we live on is, is quite busy and you know, the kids are little, like it, it is a concern with vehicles kind of driving in if they don't necessarily know that the kids are are playing here, they might not see them in time. One problem with this parking area is that the layout is really awkward. I'm kind of sitting beside this weird jet that they built in this fence. I don't, I don't know why they, <laughs> they originally had it cutting in so much, but the, the way the fence is, you have to actually drive into the property to be able to turn around if you have like more than one or two vehicles parked in here. And we would like to make it so this can actually function as parking for guests. Big hole, Sam? No, 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 no. We be careful, please. Sam, come on. Do you still love me? Not a good question to ask me right now. <laughs> so Ian is currently mad at me because see that fence behind us? Yeah. We are moving that fence under my direction. Uh, Three feet away. To to here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many extra holes? Do you have to dig? Uh, like eight of the worst ones. <laughs> so, how how grumpy are you right now? Mm, we are on camera, so I'm gonna say very grumpy, <laughs> very grumpy. Yeah. 